Hey, 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 what up? It's crashing. Dude, dude, look what they released. God of Destruction Topo is coming. When he enters the battlefield, he restores his own key by 20. Randomly draws one card if he has three or less. And inflicts all enemies with two sub counts. Activate four times. Take down enemies with incredible firepower and defense. What? He's not an LF? I would have thought he would have been like next month's LF. But he's not an LF? And then they posted this teaser as well. With four pieces of wood. Obviously, I'm not really sure what this could be. But we are getting a dual assist unit of Kel and Khalifla. It was shown in the V-Jump link. So we're going to be getting them for sure. The question is, are they going to be dropping, you know, tonight alongside Topo? It would make sense, to be honest. But I'm not sure if this teaser directly links to that or something else. But like I said, they're releasing G.O.D. Topo not as an LF. I mean, the it's going to be welcome for some of us, for, especially if you like this character. But, dude, I would have thought they would have made him an LF. They would have made even more moolah if they did make him an LF, but... Man, that is so surprising. He does look cool, though. This dude is freaking built. My guy's got more muscles than, like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, bro. He's on he's on the muscular level of, like, Broly, dude. He is in there. He goes to the gym like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to go back in the days, Mr. Olympia action. So they should be dropping tonight, or they are going to be dropping tonight. And then we're going to see who the other unit is. We should be getting a few other units on EX and then the other sparking. Like I said, it's most likely going to be the dual unit of Kel and Khalifla. Uh, who knows? I mean, we're, we've we had Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. It's leading to eventually, like, New Year's, a Ultra, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and a Full Power Jiren. Or maybe they could push them back to the anniversary and we'll just have to see what they do. Because for sure at this point, we're getting an LF each and every single month obviously the exception was before the anniversary we didn't get one but other than that we're getting an lf each and every single month for sure i'd definitely like to see a broly a transforming z broly a revival broly that would be freaking amazing that would be freaking amazing it, this looks like to be another universe survival saga buff I, I forgot which universe this guy is from but he should be buffing the universe that he's from or unless he's he should be a triple tag buffer or maybe he'll be two tags and then buff those two tags further so he might be like 26 percent to universe survival saga or uh i don't know does he have god key I, I forgot if this form has god key or not i don't know but either way it would be like 26 percent to base strike and blast attack to characters that are god key or universe survival saga and then they could do a dual tag like plus 50 percent to characters that are both god key and universe survival saga so they could do that a couple opportunities in terms of the z abilities in terms of the teams god key is good i mean their that team's doing really good universe survival saga definitely needs this buff more than god key that's without a freaking doubt for sure so you can definitely see them prioritizing this guy more towards universe survival saga as in restricting him more as in you only unlock certain parts of his unique abilities if he's running alongside universe survival saga yes that would make the most sense once again god keys is just like impeccable right now definitely doing better than tags like vegeta family that they still need someone like super saiyan blue evolution vegeta he's yellow and we already they are tag already has yellows and on top of that you have to pull them four times in order for him to buff vegeta family at six stars that's that's freaking st stupid. Just stupid as hell. I don't know why they decided to do that. There's just a bunch of missed opportunities. We're going to see what they do with this guy. Uh, most likely, like I said, Universe of Saga, God Key. And then he's going to go God Key, Universe of Saga for the second part of his e ability. We're going to see what he does, though. I'm definitely, this guy definitely looks like he's going to be more towards, I'd say, like, melee type. He has his green card, as you can see, you're able to chain into it. His blue card is the regular long range one. And then he has an ultimate. It didn't look like it had blast armor, though. So that's definitely something to be looking at. So he pops it right here. Yeah, so it definitely doesn't have blast armor or else they would have shown it off right there. Who knows? He might be a force to be reckoned with, though. We're going to see how well he functions on the, on the team, his kit, 
his stats, whether or not it's worth to even summon on the banner. He should be on a Legends All-Star banner as well. Legends All-Star number 9, I believe this is. This would be. So we're going to see just basically who also gets released alongside him. I don't really know who this is, who this could be, who this unit could be. Let's scroll down a little bit here. I don't want to scroll too far because there's some uh, some certain images, if you know. Oh, wait. People already guessed it? Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, what? Never mind. Okay. Well, it looks like it's going to be Topo. Anyways, let me know what you think about this new character. Are you hyped for him? I'm not going to hype for him because you already know I made Fusion Wars. Come on.